Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Slippery Jim here with my solo high-round strategy guide for the new Call of Duty World War II Nazi Zombies map, the Final Reich. So uh, basically, what I'm going to be doing here is taking you guys through the full gameplay from round one through to round 30, as I usually do with my Zombies strategy guides, uh, so that the newer players can see how you set up every step of the way in real time um, to get to the high rounds. And we're going to be showing you guys some strategies to get to and through the high rounds in the fastest, most efficient way possible for this map. And a lot of tips and tricks along the way, explaining some of the differences with this new zombies mode from Sledgehammer and uh, all that sort of stuff. So to start with, we have this uh, basically almost like an up, um, RPG type game where you can set up your character here. So I'm going to show you my loadout um, we're actually going to choose for solo play the camouflage special so that we can do stuff uh, without getting hassled by zombies. Especially useful if you are going to do the Easter egg, which we're not going to do in this guide, but just so you know. In terms of the mods, uh, let's have a look at the mods here. So what I'm going to go with here, and some of these are optional, but the survivalist, which gives us one point of Gith's child when activating camouflage. So that's like the jug type, type effect. And the second one is Pack Mule, so we have an extra primary weapon. And then Flak Jacket, so we take no damage from our own explosives. Some of those you can swap out for something you prefer if you wish, but I just find them helpful, um, especially in the early rounds. We're using the Sticky Grenade. And for the primary, we're starting off here. There's a lot of choices that we have now, which is pretty cool, but we're going with the POA. The reason for that is it's the weakest starting pistol, or starting weapon for that matter, and it's got tons of ammo, so you want a weak weapon so you can get lots of hit marker points early on just before you get the final kill with a knife, or in this case a shovel, as you'll see. So it gives us more points, that's why we're using a weak pistol. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions uh, at all with any of this, uh, this information, please leave a comment in the uh, comment section, and uh, I or someone else will be able to help you. Let's get into the map here, and uh, we're going to check out the uh, the starting area here to begin with. Very, very uh, cool looking map. Pretty well optimized as well, especially compared to um, Black Ops 3. The first map, Shadows of Evil, was terribly, terribly optimized. Lots of stuttering and freezes, at least on PC. Um, this is PS4 anyway. but uh, So this is our starting area here. We have... Um, like a perk machine here, so that is your self-revive. Uh, you can't get any money out of the bottom of the machine, unfortunately. Stingy bastards. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, starting room weapons here. The automatic pistol, stuff like that. So basically to get the max points out of the zombies in the first few rounds, you want to basically do here what I'm doing by shooting their legs with about four or five shots from this pistol. And then getting the final melee kill for maximum points. Because you get 130 points, it's still the same number of points as normal Treyarch Zombies. And uh, that's the best way to build your points early on. Especially if you're going for one of those challenges to unlock special characters where you have to do stuff by certain early rounds. So uh, we're going to leave a zombie alive here if we can. Now you actually can see the objectives here early on, what we're going to be doing is following a few of these objectives. So uh, you basically have to uh, find the bunker entrance, which is right here. Fuck, no power. And then uh, you have to restore power. So this is sounding very familiar to what we're used to. So right here, what you want to do is follow these three like power leads and then um, turn on these pumps. So uh, if you're too far away from the zombies when you do this, they'll do a jump scare and jump out the window at you and stuff like that. So what? You don't want to be too close to the zombies, for obvious reasons, but you also don't want to run away too far from them or they'll pop out on you. <laughs> so that's kind of a balancing act with that. This guy's decided to charge at me. There's one of those, uh, those jump scare zombies right there. So they can actually pop out even after the round has ended, before the next one starts. It's kind of weird. Now we can't do the final, uh, the third pump thing yet, so we'll have to wait till we get some more points. I kind of miss the old Black Ops 3 slide type movement. I'm sure you guys are the same. We kind of got used to it, didn't we? Now we've just got stupid uh, dive to prone. Alright, let's get some more points off these zombies. 
So the final, um, the final thing that we'll have to do is, uh, let's just get through here, shall we? The final thing we have to do to turn on the power is to, uh, to turn on that next, that third and final pump. So we need, uh, I think it's a thousand points to get through that gate. It's pretty cool how they made, um, the they made the melee weapon a shovel. That's kind of a pretty cool touch. Something a little bit different. And you can actually, uh, you can actually equip it like this. So that's, uh, that's pretty sweet. They've done a lot of good things uh, in this new zombies mode. I think Sledgehammer either brought in some help from Treyarch or they um, they studied their work very closely. Even stuff like the little storyline um, interludes as you go through the rounds um, are similar to what we've had before from Treyarch. Okay, let's get this last valve turned on. You shouldn't need to use your camouflage for this if you're careful. You want to kind of save the camouflage. Um, basically, you want to save the camouflage for the uh, big flamer boss, the Brenner, that we'll encounter once we've built the Wonder Weapon. Next thing you want to do is you want to switch this pilot light on. As soon as you do that, a whole bunch of little zombies will come out. So it's real easy just to kill them all with a grenade. Or if you want to get more points, you can always shoot them down with your pistol, whatever you want to do there. And you jump down in here like this and then just turn on this generator here. That will open the gate and allow you finally to unlock the bunker door once we have enough points. So I'm actually going to buy the SVT here. I actually love this weapon even from World at War days. Uh, that power up by the way was a um, basically boost your special ability straight up. But we don't need it right now. I'm just going to buy the armor. So this is the Geats gel. So I'm just going to talk about this for a little bit. So... This is similar, basically, to Jug in that you can see those three yellow shields. So just checking our objectives here. But the three yellow shields below my character's face are basically three points of Geats shield or armor. Let's just call it armor, shall we? I don't speak German. I probably don't pronounce it properly anyway. So basically, just like Jug, the armor allows you to take more hits before you get down. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know about it. Um, so you do definitely want to get that um, But the, the thing is that you can actually lose points of your armor if you get hit too many times I think it's like you get a red screen of two hits and Then if you get hit one more time shortly after the red screen you lose a point of armor um, And then you basically start losing it's almost like you're losing your jug and then you have to get it back again so with the uh, with the mod that we've got we can, the survivalist mod, we can actually get one point, one of those shields back every time we activate our special ability, camouflage in this case. So we can get it back that way. And that's uh, handy because uh, every time you buy the Geats shield armor, uh, the price goes up. And then it's capped at uh, 10,000 points maximum uh, if you buy it too many times, which is very, very expensive, especially compared to the old jug for 2,500 points. So yeah, essentially, you just want to be careful not to get hit by zombies. I kind of like it in the fact that it makes you a better player because you avoid getting hit by zombies. And there's a lot of mechanics in the way the zombies move that uh, you can use to your advantage to avoid getting hit as well. There's a stumble mechanic if you shoot them, which is really useful. We'll be getting into that more later on. Um, and also, if you basically change your pace, uh, you can... I don't know if the Type 100 would even fit in that little skinny case, but it's because... Got a massive mag sticking out the side. And anyway, yeah. So uh, the other thing is if you change your pace, if you sprint, then you slow down, then you sprint again, and you and you turn and sidestep and stuff like that, some of that advanced zombies player movement skills, uh, you can avoid getting hit in some tight areas, um, as you'll probably see as we play through this. We're going to go for the headshots again to maximize our points. Um, you don't have to worry about points too much. If you're just playing normally, but there's a few challenges where it's very important. Um, you know, character unlock challenges where it's very important to maximize points and know how to do that. But I guess early on you kind of want to get, um, you know, your wonder weapon set up as early as you can just to make it easier on yourself, which requires maximizing the points situation. But you don't have to worry too much about it. 
But yeah, I love the, the zombies designs. They look amazing. This map looks incredible. Plays really smoothly. Um, a lot of mechanics. It's well set up, well designed, a good size. Um, it's, uh, it's just a really good balanced map. I really, really like this one. It's kind of almost got an Ascension vibe to this, the way that the layout is set up in this one. But, uh, okay, so anyway, what we're doing right now is we're building up about, we're going to build up about 4,500 points, and this is, uh, this right here is the equivalent of a dog round. So we've got these little, I don't know what kind of zombies these are, but they buzz like they got flies hanging them off, off them or something like that. And uh, anyway, at the end of this, uh, which is every five rounds, I believe, uh, you do get a max, max ammo, which is pretty sweet. Um, we also got an insta kill, so um, that's cool, I guess. All right, so those zombies are not particularly like they do, they die pretty quickly. There's a lot of different kinds of zombies in this map, so we'll explain explain them uh, each of them as we go through. We got the regular zombies, obviously, and uh, and those like fly zombies. And then there's a couple of others and a couple of boss zombies, zombie types as well. Uh, we got a lot of a lot of ammo in this pistol right now from that max ammo, so uh, that's pretty good for building points up. And then we get a um, electro magnet. <laughs> Let's just call it a double point, shall we? I don't know why they. I mean, it's cool that they came up with all these German names and stuff, but honestly, they should have just stuck with the familiar names because they're all exactly the same sort of thing as the power-ups from uh, regular Treyarch zombies. Anyway, we're going to go down and follow the next part of our objective here, which is to explore the vault. And uh, basically what we have to do now is we have to reroute the power so we can open up an area called the salt mines. And the mystery box is down here as well. We might as well hit this one time and see what we get. Uh, we really need to get... Um, the equivalent of monkey bombs, which is the jack-in-the-box, but we'll see. We've got the M1911. Okay, now, basically you want to open up this side door right here. This leads down into the laboratory area. Um, and if you follow it around, take the every right turn you come to, just follow it around on your right-hand side, uh, ignoring this one path with the stairs. Just keep on going around this way to the right, and you'll see this power switch. Just turn that on. Um, then go back the way you came, or you can take a shortcut down through here as well. This is a timed sequence that you need to do fairly quickly, but if you fail it, you can just try it uh, again if you're new to the map. It takes a little while to learn the layout, but then to go across um, the other side, this door right here, leading down into the uh, morgue area. Again, just follow it around to your right-hand side, and this one here is a little bit closer. You can just switch on this switch. Once you do that, you basically have diverted the, uh, the power to open the salt mine door. And uh, you can go down into the salt mine um, for the next part of the um, of the main quest. But we're going to turn this crank here as well. We'll need to do this as well for the wonder weapon step. So once you open this door, keep in mind the salt mine has, is going to have these special zombies right down here, guys. <laughs> And they have bombs on the on their back. So if you just charge on down there, you'll probably get yourself blown up, um, which is uh, not ideal. So uh, basically, either wait for them to come out of the door and take them out up top, or just go down and spray them down like I did. I was using the, uh, the special ability there anyway. So once you're down here, you want to click on the button there in the middle that we pressed, and you'll get this red circle. Uh, around this location. So basically you want to kill zombies inside this location um, And when you kill them in here, they'll get this like electrical charge coming off their heads uh, It's basically like Fill the soul box type step that we're familiar with from a lot of Triarch maps uh, Once you've killed about 10 zombies in here uh, everything will go uh, bright red and then the whole map will go super dark for a little bit until you complete this, this part of the quest. So it looks like we got a, we've got a couple of more zombies to kill down there. But uh, we've got a few points, so I might as well go hit the mystery box. Because I'm, I'm going to need some decent weapons um, for this next part 
of the quest. So basically re the reason we're doing this quest is to open up the Wonder Weapon. You don't really need the Wonder Weapon um, to get to High Rounds, but we're going to show you how to do it anyway. Get the STG, beautiful. I actually like this gun in this, um, in this map. It feels really good. Um, sounds awesome. It's not really that powerful, but gets the job done. I know a lot of people love the STG back in what well, war days. Alright, there we go. So uh, we've done that little bit of the Easter egg. Well, not the Easter egg. Well, it actually is part of the Easter egg, but it's also part of the quest uh, to get the Wonder Weapon. We're going to head back out of here. And then uh, the next step is to go back up here in the command room. We've got to head up to that little console up there. And just click on the button up here. Uh, if you get lost in, in what to do next, you can just press your uh, your button on your controller to see the quests pop up. And it'll even outline most of the time the area you have to go to if you have to interact with something or whatever. So what we have to do now is we have to follow this little machine on rails on the ceiling. Um, you can wait for it because it'll go down and then it'll stop when it runs out of zombies, souls or whatever. And then just kill zombies inside the red circle again um, until it gets down to the... Uh, one of the... I'm going to call it a weapon forge area. Because it, it actually crafts part of the wonder weapon. And uh, you can use your grenades in there to kill zombies and stuff like that. We're going to get this uh, particular... Um, blitz is what they call the perks in this. So this basically gives us uh, speed cola. Gives us uh, fast reload speed. Okay, so once it gets down into this room here, where there's like a, some kind of electrical forge gizmo, max ammo, beautiful. Um, we just need to kill a few extra zombies in here and then it'll start crafting the first part for the wonder weapon for us. And uh, as soon as it starts doing its thing here, we're going to get another type of zombie spawning in. So you want to watch out for this guy. They're, uh, they're pretty dangerous. Uh, there's a few ways you can uh, you can deal with them, with, which I'll show you guys. So that's going to craft the first part of the Wonder Weapon for us. Takes a little while to do its thing. And then it'll pop out the uh, the first part for us. There we go. So we'll pick that up. Okay, whoa. That's the zombie right there. That's the one I was talking about. So I'm not sure what that zombie's called officially. But it it's like uh it's got like a club or a, a like a some sort of melee weapon. And if you get too close to it, it'll basically swipe you with that. Which will take you down to the danger, danger levels with your health, where you can easily use, lose uh, part of your shield. So, ooh, the bar. This is actually pretty good. So you want to be careful of those guys. Um, you can't just spray them down and kill them super easy either. If you shoot them, what happens is they'll stumble and then they'll charge at you like that. So what you want to do, I didn't do it properly there. because There's a few zombies interfering. But uh, basically the quickest way to kill them, it does require a little bit of skill with aiming though, is you want to make them stumble like this. Go around to their back while they're stumbled and then shoot them in the spine. Um, that's their weak spot because their spine is all exposed. And uh, that'll kill them pretty much straight away like that. So that's the easiest and quickest way to, to kill them and it's a good idea to kill them as well. Because they, they can be a real hassle and uh, make you lose your armor. Okay, well, that's the end of that way, but we've got to basically do the same thing where we follow that thing down the other, into the other room, the morgue area. I'm not going to take that shotgun. And basically kill zombies in the circle all the way down to the, uh, the next part. Um, the next room where the, where the second part of the wonder weapon gets forged. And that's, um, that's actually the last part that we'll need to to create the Wonder Weapon, put it all together. Um, oh god. This, this area down here is a little bit more tight 
then the um, then the laboratory area. Gonna have to be a little bit careful here, but like I said, basically if you um, oh god, <laughs> I'm just gonna play it safe here a little bit. Let's just get some kills in here. But um, yeah, basically if you change your pace a little bit, so you move towards the zombies and then sideways or away from them quicker, or you go fast then slow down. It throws them off in their animation and they're less likely to hit you so you can actually use that to your advantage to maneuver around even in pretty tight areas like this without even getting hit some of the time all right so come on come on zombies we've got to kill you in here let's kill these guys in the circle again Alrighty, just gotta watch out because if we get any of those uh Nice. You get any of those uh, Malay zombies or uh, whatever they're called, um, we could get in trouble here. Let's, all right, that should hopefully finish off that step for us. Got a bunch of kills with that grenade. There we go. I think that's done now. So this is going to like forge up the second part of the wonder weapon. It's a pretty awesome looking machine or whatever. Like the map design, just the whole layout and the look of these zombies is awesome looking. They've done a fantastic job, they really have. I'm impressed. Compared to what they did before with the old um, XA zombies or whatever, this is like way better, way better. Now just before we pick up this second part for the Wonder Weapon, make sure you've got a pretty powerful weapon with lots of ammo and you've got your camouflage ready to go. Because uh, as soon as we pick this up, one of the most dangerous zombie types in the game is going to spawn in that we have to deal with. 